What I want to pursue today, I will get back to this in the future. What I want to do today is to generate a disturbance in a medium which has an infinite number of coupled oscillators, which is a string to generate in there. So I take a string and I wiggle the end and then I want to evaluate with you what's going to happen. And so for this I need some assistance from someone, Nicole, would you mind? Just hold this firmly in your hand. Now most of you may think that this is a spring with a P as in Peter, but no, it is a string with a T as in Tom. You will see that. I'm going to use this as a string. I'm going to put tension on it, T, which is what we needed also for the n-coupled oscillators. And the amount of mass that we have, we express that normally in terms of the mass per unit length. Remember, in the other case, we had little m divided by L. Well, we call that now mu. So that's how much mass per unit length we have. And what I want to do now is just shake my hand, and then you tell me what you see. You ready? There we go. Are you ready, Nicole? What did you see? Just tell me what you see right after I do this. What did you see right after I did this? The disturbance moved. That's number one that we have to understand. Why does it move? Now, look what happens at Nicole's side. I generate a pulse which is like this. I'll call that a mountain for now. And only look at the moment that the mountain reaches her and something comes back at me. And then stop looking because things begin to wander back and forth. And tell me what comes back at me. So I'm going to send a mountain to Nicole. What came back at me? A valley. Now I'm going to send a valley to Nicole. What do you think is coming back? Very good. It's hard, to, it's actually, you know that it, I don't know why it is. It's very hard to, to generate a valley. Let me, let me do a mountain again. This is a mountain that comes back as a valley, and I'll try a valley. Okay, I'll try to do a valley, so I go down and up. Yeah, that was a good one. And you saw that, <laughs> yeah. Well, because of you, it worked. Thank you very much. You did a great job. So now we have to understand two things, and that is why does it propagate, and why does a mountain come back as a valley, and why does a valley come back as a mountain? Continuous medium, infinite number of coupled oscillators.